Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019. So I'm here with your Edmonton housing market update and your 2019 Edmonton housing market forecast. Uh, what we're gonna talk about today is the 2018 housing market summary and or overview and the 2019 Edmonton housing, housing market forecast and what that means to you. Just gonna pre-warn you, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video than normal, but all of it is gonna be interesting. So buckle up and let's dive in. Hi, I'm Jen McPhillamy with Remax Elite. And quickly before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my uh, YouTube channel, quickly hit the button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're reminded of um, updates when I'm posting some interesting stuff like this one. Okay, so yesterday I had an opportunity to attend the Realtors Association 2019 um, Edmonton Housing Forecast Update. I got a ton of inf interesting information and I'm going to summarize and share it with you right now. So first up is the 2018 Edmonton housing market overview. What happened last year? Well, it was a perfect storm for a challenging market for sellers and abundance of properties to choose from for buyers. In 2018, we saw record breaking inventory. We were up 15% from 2017. That coupled with sales volume down pushed us into a strong buyer's market. We were looking at like six to 12 months of inventory and between, you know, some months as low as 10, high as 17% chance of selling in this market last year. The really interesting thing is though, even though we had such high supply compared to the demand that we saw, the prices stayed relatively stable. They did drop a bit, but I mean, they're pretty flat throughout the year. Okay, so now on to 2019, the Edmonton housing market forecast. What are we expecting in 2019? So, just gonna give some credits here. Yesterday, uh, we heard from Michael Broderick, the chair of the Edmonton Realtors Association, John Reese, the chief economist of the city of Edmonton, James Cuddy, the senior analyst from CMHC, and he's in Calgary office, and Steve Murphy, the Executive Vice President of Banking at the Canadian Western Bank. So I took all their information and summarized it for you here. So for the most part, 2019, uh, we're expecting pretty much the same as 2018. Uh, stable home prices with minor price decreases, a lot of inventory and low unit sales. The Realtors Association of Edmonton is forecasting the following um, and it looks like duplexes are going to be least affected by any of the negative things happening in the market these days so um, quickly single family homes uh, unit sales they're expecting to be down by 1.3 percent uh, single family homes average prices they're expecting to be down 1.17 percent and they're expecting inventory to be up for single family homes by 1.92 percent on the condo side, uh, unit sales are looking for those to drop by 2.06%, average prices to drop by 1.63%, and the inventory to increase by 1.83%. Um, duplexes are down across the board, so unit sales are down 0.78%, average prices are down 0.66%, and the inventory is also down 0.6%. So the bylaw for allowing duplexes to have legal basement suites coupled with a lower price point compared to single family homes is likely what's driving up the demand for in this category. Based on the 2018 stats, uh, the top three communities with the highest medium home prices are in order St. Albert, Beaumont, and then Sherwood Park. Uh, the National Home Price Index, HPI, the benchmark price, uh, for Edmonton is $321,800 compared to Canada's, which is up at $488,080. This lower benchmark helps Edmonton become a more desirable city for in-migration from other provinces. In fact, in-migration to Edmonton is expected 
to increase and have a positive effect on the housing market. So good news about Edmonton's unemployment rate, it is decreasing. Uh, Edmonton has actually recovered um, to the job level from 2014. Though the type of jobs has changed in Edmonton. We used to be high in construction, manufacturing, and the energy sector. Now those have changed to public and other jobs. In fact, uh, Edmonton has 27% of the workforce in the public sector. So an interesting thing is that even though the public sector jobs and the other jobs that replace the higher paying construction, manufacturing, and energy sector jobs, Edmonton continues to outpace Canada with respect to the average income. We're higher, that's good. Uh, so as for GDP, uh, Edmonton has GDP growth and is forecast to have GDP growth in the next few years. However, the GDP growth is going to be slower than what we're used to in the past. The city of Edmonton will experience a moderate growth in GDP, but the growth will be more rapid than what we'll see in the rest of Alberta. So a couple other things to note that will affect the Edmonton housing market are one, inflation is expected to ease to 2% in 2019. Two, income is expected to rise. Three, the rental market inventory is decreasing. So the vacancy rate is going down. And four, the average rental price is going up. So all of those are very positive impacts on the Edmonton housing market. Uh, the things to watch are the interest rates as increasing interest rates will have a negative effect on the market. The good news is, I don't know if you've heard, but on January 9th, the Bank of Canada decided not to raise the rates in this first quarter, 2019. So my takeaways from this are pretty positive. Whether you're a first time home buyer, an investor, or you want to upgrade your home, it's a great time to buy. You know, we are really lucky to be living in Edmonton with the average income higher than the average Canadian income and not being fully dependent on oil prices. That is great news. So if the Edmonton economy was completely dependent on the oil prices, like the average consumer thinks, you know, we would be much worse off in the housing market here in Edmonton. So there you have it. In my opinion, the future of the Edmonton market looks bright. It might be a little bit flat, stable, stable a bad thing, I don't think so, for a good part of 2019, but after that, we're gonna see growth. So the five things that I think contribute to this are, one, in-migration is growing. Two, the GDP is growing. Three, inflation is easing. Four, unemployment rates are down. And five, the rental vacancy is also down and the pricing for rentals is up. So uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions about the real estate market, wondering what's happening in your community or with your home. Right now I'm doing CMAs for people to, so they can see what the market value is compared to their um, Edmonton property assessment. So if you want one of those, um, just let me know. I can be reached by email and you can call or text me anytime. My phone number and email is in the comments below. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're gonna have a lot of great content this year. Uh, for one, I'm going to have the real estate market update on a monthly basis. I'm doing a lot of stuff with the community. So I have a Made in Edmonton series where I'll be featuring local businesses. There's also every Friday, the weekend update where I tell you what's happening in Edmonton on the weekend. Um, in addition to that, I'll have real estate information. So just if you wanna learn about real estate, things like title insurance, home staging, foreclosures, all that good stuff you'll find right here on my channel. So hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell too so you're reminded of when I have something new posted. Okay, take care and uh, thanks for listening.